You just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things! You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Jack, you're not alone. There's nothing you can do against him. Of course there is. We've already started. How can you say that, knowing he's already probably gotten rid of your mother, Louis? No, he hasn't. She's still here. She's alive, Jack. But... Yes, trust me. Mm. Ich versuch's mal. Calm down, Shaftek. It's over. You have no idea what you just put me through. It would be nice if we could all settle down a bit. And let us thank Louis for his intervention. It was very courageous of him. Monsieur Peru, you could have seriously hurt someone if Monsieur de Richet here hadn't stopped you. Your behavior is unacceptable. You would do better to go and rest in your apartment. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize for the inexcusable behavior of my guest. We all need to recover from all of this excitement. Take the rest of the day off. Oh man, oh man. Das war eine Nummer. Ich hätte Jack Pyrrhus Geheimnis lüften können. Na, egal. Ich hätte Lord Mortimer folgen können. Ich hätte ein Geheimnis zu Napoleon Bonaparte lüften können. Ich hätte mehr über Sir Gregory Holm herausfinden können. Na, was soll's. Haha. Perfekt in Psychologie. Ist jetzt nur die Frage, wo mache ich den einen jetzt noch? Machen wir es mal so. I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Perrault has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again it has worked. My friends, let us settle down. Please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us celebrate Louis' courage. He enabled us to avert a tragedy. Yes, that was very noble of you, Louis. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. I... thank you. He owes you his life. That's quite something. That madman deserves to die. We are providing Monsieur Peru with care, but rest assured, he is no longer a danger to himself or anyone else. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Oh man, tja, ich hab keine Bücher mehr. Louis, I wanted to thank you personally. I admire what you did to save Monsieur Peru's life. You have given us all a wonderful lesson in courage. Don't mention it, my lord. You would have done the same. I was just quicker. Ah, humility is a fine quality, sir. Where is he now? In his room. I've sedated him. I don't want him trying to take his life again. Or worse yet, attacking one of the guests. When in despair, Monsieur Peru is clearly a dangerous man. Tell me, my lord, can you think of any reason why he would be so terrified of you? Terrified? Come now, that's a bit harsh. 
I think he was simply unable to put things into perspective. I see no reason to fear me. Ask President Washington. I don't believe I'm such a difficult friend. Having spoken to him, I can assure you that he feared you even more than death itself. Had he disappointed you in any way recently? Of course, he was on the edge. He was desperate, and it grew noticeable in his work. Our collaboration was probably coming to an end, but I certainly didn't feel the need to threaten him, ever. But without you, no more support, no more money. It was an end to his social status. If you lost, he lost everything, didn't he? No, not his life. Thanks to me, I guess. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Oh, Louis, uh, one more thing, please. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. This major project needs men like you, Louis. And you never know, right? Maybe by then, I'll see things differently. Well, thank you for allowing me to believe in that possibility, Louis. From here on, I shall make it my mission to persuade you to change your vote. Be my guest. But I hope your arguments are very, very persuasive, because I'm not the only one who isn't on your side. Oh, rest assured, I am working on it. Very well, then. I'll see you later, my lord. Oh man, das kann ja was werden. Ah gut, ich mache jetzt mal eine Pause. Also bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss. Guten Morgen, liebe Leute, seid ihr auch schon alle da? Ja. Es geht jetzt weiter bei The Council. Ja. Die Konferenz ist erstmal verschoben, dank Perus Selbstmordversuch und tja. Was gibt's jetzt noch großartig zu machen? Kehre zurück auf dein Zimmer, naja. Das wird ja extrem schwer werden. <lacht> Aber naja. Monsieur Bonaparte. Sorry, Dorichi. I have no time for traitors such as yourself. I beg your pardon? If you are here, it's because Lord Mortimer agreed to include you. And what's the first thing that you do? You betray him by following Sir Gregory and bending over backwards to turn Washington against him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was free to vote as I pleased. I didn't realize I had to vote for Lord Mortimer in order to show my gratitude toward him. Hey, he invited me here to come and look for my missing mother during his high society party. I'm sorry, truly sorry. I don't know all your customs yet. It's just common decency that when invited to a man's castle, you don't go and to pee on his boots. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. Hmm. Okay, with Napoleon haben wir es uns verscherzt. Super. Wirklich toll. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah. Das kann ja noch besser werden. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. No answer. Okay, warum können wir da plötzlich klopfen? Duke Manuel Godoy. Und können wir da noch kurz rein? Ja, können wir. Monsieur Dorichet. Ah! I have no time. I was about to join Sir Gregory. Come back later. I wanted to talk to you a moment and I am expected. I'm sorry. We shall talk later. Okay, dann nicht. Meine Fresse. Diesen Gregory kann ich auch nicht trauen. Huh, that's me. Ah, hier ist ja mein Zimmer. Gut. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Was denn jetzt schon wieder? Louis. Ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, 
but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh shit, Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Oh man, oh man. Alright, ich glaube hier lang. Ne? Ja, tatsache. So. I do believe that's Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. So, das Schloss zu knacken. Versucht die Tür aufzubrechen. Ja, genau. Ich versuch mal das zu knacken. I can't open it. It must be blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in. Quick. All right. Schauen wir auch mal, was für Zimmer gibt's hier noch? Okay, ist mir wurscht, wessen Zimmer das ist. Wir gehen jetzt einfach mal durch. to get inside Emily's room through the... Shit! It's locked. Let me verarschen. Come on. Ha ha. That gets off. Okay, there it's not. Auch nicht. Hm. It's as if there are several people inside. Oh oh. You're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened. What on earth is you, mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk. After everything I've done for you, you are joking, I hope, right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. <laughs> Super. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You frizzy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me. Go on then, shoot. After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, <gasps> take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Oh, God. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I... That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on. You know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... You asked me what had become of me since we last met in London, many years ago. 
What did I answer? You told me you had become a detective, Louis. You only know that because I told you. You even told me about your exploits with the thieves who tortured their victims. What were they called again? The Chauffeur d'Auger, I think. I was the one who told you that. Liar. I was there. <laughs> right. That's Let's it. find something else. Ah, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer welcomed us in a very odd way. What happened? It won't work, Louis. It wasn't Mortimer who welcomed us. It was Sir Gregory. Sorry, Louis. I already told her. Very well. Let's try something else. Oh On the first man. night, we went up to bed. But I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? Not at all. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on! She's <laughs> putting okay. one over on you! Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. Was könnte die echte Emily unterscheiden? Behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? Meine Fresse. Remember? How did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? Sword toward the Gorgon. Gorgon toward the shield. Shield toward the sword. Lantern toward the shield. Of course, I told her how to do it. Missed. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Last night, you came to visit me, and I can't help wondering why. Why did you come to my room? Louis, you must be mistaken. I did not go to your room last night. And that's where your little game ends, Emma. Because I never told you about it. So, there you can't answer. What? No! You didn't do that. I didn't want you to be jealous of Louis. Remember how you always used to react whenever you felt you were competing against a man? You dirty... That's enough. I've had enough of this charade. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. Denn ich weiß nicht, ob es euch auch gefallen ist, aber die Emily, in Anführungsstrichen, die letzte Nacht bei uns war und mit uns die Nacht verbracht hat, hat uns nicht mit Nachnamen angesprochen. Kann mich natürlich auch irren, aber ich glaube, das war eher Emma, weil sie uns nicht so gut kennt. Also denke ich mal, Emily steht vor mir. It's you, Emily. No, Louis, she is manipulating you. No, Emma. It's her. I know it. Despite all the trouble you've gone to to put one over on me, I know it is her. That's enough now, Emma. You little slut. Don't think you are going to get away with this so easily. You are going to stop your little game right now. Never. I am Duchess Hills. No. Emily? I am the Duchess. But... You don't. I... Dear God, what have I done? 
See what you've done. See? Louis? Mother! What on earth is... Go away! You must go. Everyone is going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Come on, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I am coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her. Please, go. I'll cover you. Aww. What? What are you doing there? Stop! God damn it. Now what's going on? Ja, ganz sicher bin, zu 100% sicher bin ich mir zwar nicht mit meiner Theorie, aber ich hoffe doch mal, dass es richtig war, also. Ja, mal gucken. <lacht> Nachricht aus der Bibel.